so far we have uh, derived you know amplitude for the steady state yeah? steady state so what is this amplitude formula so this is the f0 by k and the remaining you uh, know portion is this one and uh, in a different situation and different cases only the f0 value is changing for example in the case one we have taken the constant uh, force in that constant force the f0 is f0 but whereas when we have you know considered the unbalanced force then f0 there is a m mu omega square in that case so in all the cases we can you know uh, by changing the f0 the remaining formula is the same one similar one and uh, this f0 by k we have already seen that this is the nothing but a x statistics so amplitude at the static position so here our next interest is finding out the maximum amplitude so so far we have seen the amplitude at the steady state and as well as the amplitude at the static state but what would be the maximum amplitude so how to find out the maximum amplitude so if you consider the formula for a given damping this amplitude is only depending on the value of r where r is the omega by omega n and uh, the remaining constants here the f0 by k is a constant here here so for the maximum or minimum value we need to differentiate this uh, with respect to the you know dependent variable and uh, equal to the zero then we will get the maximum or minimum value at that particular uh, you know uh, position so if i differentiate this one the only differentiable quantity here is the denominator so i need to differentiate the value inside the square root so what is the differentiation this is a 2 into 1 minus r square into again the differentiation of r square that is a 2 into r plus 2 2 4 psi square this is a constant one y2 cover out of the bracket and uh, this is a 2 into r equal to 0 and uh, if I simplify this it will become 1 minus uh, r square plus uh, 2 j e 2 j square equal to 0 and uh, here it will become uh, r equal to 1 minus 2 into j square but here provided this j is you know uh, less than or equal to 1 by square root of 2 why because this whole value if you consider this value this whole value inside the square root should always greater than 0 otherwise we will get a imaginary solutions but for the real, real value of r we so this j value should always be less than or equal to 1 by root 2 that is nothing but a 0 0.707 and uh, what happens if I substitute this value in the original equation so x maximum so x maximum equal to I am substituting this value in place of r so it will become f0 by k into square root of this is a 1 minus 1 minus 2 j square whole square whole square is for the whole term plus so 4 j square into 1 minus 2 z square this will become you know 4 z power 4 and uh, this one if I you know multiply this one then 4 z square minus 8 of z power 4 this is a square root of and uh, it will become f naught by k divided by so this will and this will this is a 4 actually so here we will get a 4 j square minus a 4 j power 4 so if i take a 4 j square common then it will become 2 into j square root of 1 minus j square so this is the this is the equation so what is the x max so x max equal to x max by here i will write a x statistic static because f0 by k is a static so this can be written as a 1 by 2 j into square root of 1 minus j square and uh, here I this is the maximum amplitude you know formula provided of j square is a less than or equal to 1 by root 2 here 
so here provided z is less than or equal to 1 by root 2 here so this is the graph between phase angle phi and uh, the frequency ratio r so we will try to see different cases so uh, for the uh, these graphs so for example here omega by omega n that means uh, this become 1 so when omega by omega 1 is 1 we have already derived that a phase angle should be 90 degrees so here it became 90 degrees this is the meeting point so when omega uh, that is uh, r when omega by omega n that is uh, r becomes 1 this becoming 90 degrees and uh, we have uh, seen one more case that is uh, omega by omega n very very less than 1 so that means when it is approaching 0 value we have seen phase angle also approaching 0 value so here when you go from 1 to this this side and uh, this phase angle is coming down if you take uh, any curve any curve which is having a uh, different values of uh, xi when you approaching the you know very less value of r automatically phase angle also decreasing and it's approaching the zero value so even from the graph also we can uh, identify that one as we have already derived and uh, the other case is uh, omega by omega n which we have considered very very greater than one even in that case what happening phi is you know approaching 180 degrees so we will see what happening so when r is increasing so we this value is you know going in this direction so when this value is going in this direction so if you take any of this curve having the any value of xi then uh, phi angle also going in this direction so what happening it's automatically approaching uh, 180 degrees so whatever we derived all can be you know depicted from this graph